Pi Network as the first digital currency designed for everyday people, representing the next natural step in the evolution of money and cryptocurrency adoption worldwide. State clearly the mission of Pi Network to build a cryptocurrency and smart contracts platform secured and operated by everyday people. Then state its vision to build the world's most inclusive peer-to-peer -peer ecosystem and online experience, fueled by Pi, the world's most widely used cryptocurrency. Mention that Pi's white papers are key to understanding its design, beginning with the original March 2019 white paper and followed by the December 2021 addendum, which added new chapters on the token model, mining, and roadmap with details for the mainnet. Clarify that the white papers may continue to be updated as Pi Network evolves during the enclosed mainnet period. Describe how everyday financial transactions currently rely on trusted intermediaries like banks and payment companies such as PayPal, which maintain central records of balances and transactions. Provide examples such as Cindy sending $5 to Steve through PayPal, where PayPal deducts money from Cindy's account and credits Steve's account while acting as the trusted authority. Emphasize the limitations of this system, including unfair value capture, where intermediaries generate billions in wealth but return nothing to everyday people. High transaction fees that disproportionately hurt lower income populations. Censorship where intermediaries can block or restrict people from moving their money. Permission systems where access can be denied arbitrarily and privacy risks where intermediaries can expose or force disclosure of financial information. Explain the benefits of distributed ledgers, such as decentralization, strong cryptographic security through wallets and private keys, unseizability because funds cannot be taken without the private key, censorship resistance since anyone can submit a transaction to the network, immutability because once recorded transactions cannot be altered, and smart contracts which execute agreements automatically through code and eliminate the need for middlemen in many industries. Move to security and mining. Describe how Bitcoin secures its distributed ledger through proof-of-work mining, where validators must solve complex puzzles to add transactions. Mention that the validator who solves the puzzle first earns a block reward, at the time of writing 12.5 Bitcoin worth around $40,000. Explain that while proof-of-work is secure, it consumes enormous energy and requires expensive hardware, making it inaccessible to everyday people. Now introduce how Pi Network addresses these issues by creating an eco-friendly and inclusive mining model. Instead of relying on proof-of-work, Pi uses the Stellar Consensus Protocol, which allows everyday users to contribute to network security from their mobile phones without draining battery, or consuming large amounts of energy. Explain that Pi Network democratizes access to cryptocurrency by enabling anyone with a smartphone to participate in mining, true to its mission of inclusivity. Introduce Bitcoin as a historical breakthrough in 2009, when Satoshi Nakamoto launched the first peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system that allowed people to exchange value directly without intermediaries. Highlight that Bitcoin created a borderless currency system and enabled transactions like Cindy paying Steve directly without banks or PayPal. Explain that this breakthrough was possible because of distributed ledger technology where instead of a single central record, a network of validators maintain a shared global ledger. Compare this to a global Google Sheet maintained collectively and validated through consensus ensuring that false transactions cannot be recorded and security is preserved. The March 2019 white paper introduced Pi's design, consensus model, and inclusive mining vision. The December 2021 addendum provided updated details on the Pi token model, mining, and roadmap. It described the enclosed mainnet period, the migration of pioneer balances to mainnet wallets, and the ecosystem development strategy. Mention that Pi's roadmap includes eventual transition to an open mainnet where Pi can freely interact with other blockchains and exchanges. Discuss the development phases of Pi. Phase 1 focused on design, distribution, and building a trust graph. Phase 2 launched the testnet where Pi nodes operated and validated transactions. Phase 3 began in December 2021 with the launch of the enclosed mainnet. 
During this period, pioneers can migrate their Pi to mainnet wallets, developers can build applications, and the ecosystem can grow securely before the open network launch. Highlight the ecosystem vision of Pi. Developers around the world are building apps and marketplaces that use Pi as a medium of exchange. The goal is to make Pi not just a speculative asset, but a currency with real utility in everyday life. Explain that with millions of pioneers globally, Pi has become one of the largest cryptocurrency communities in the world. Describe Pi's future potential as a digital currency that returns value to the people, creates an inclusive global economy lowers barriers to blockchain participation, and enables peer-to-peer -peer commerce, payments, and decentralized applications. Emphasize that Pi Network is positioned to become one of the most widely used cryptocurrencies globally, driven by its vision of accessibility, inclusivity, and real-world utility.